Hey guys, so today I wanted to do a video to talk about my experience so far on Endeavor OS. This is an awesome Linux distribution. So if you have any interest in trying out Arch, but you're a little intimidated by some of the tutorials and guidelines for setting up Arch from scratch you may want to try out Endeavor OS. Of course there's other options out there like Manjaro as well, but I have really grown to love Endeavor OS. It comes with XFCE now of course you can also add other desktops and what's nice about this is it means when you get to your login screen you'll be able to change over to any of the installed desktops you have. And if at any time in the future you want to add a new desktop like KD Plasma, you can do that by searching using the command line and Endeavor OS is a command line centric distribution. Endeavor OS is a rolling release Linux distribution that is based on Arch Linux. The distribution is designed to make Arch Linux more accessible to users who want the benefits of Arch's rolling release model and customization options but prefer a more user-friendly installation process. Endeavor OS inherits many of the advantages of Arch Linux, such as the rolling release model, up-to-date software, and access to the Arch User Repository AUR. Users get the flexibility to install and configure the system according to their preferences while benefiting from the Arch Linux ecosystem. One of the key features of Endeavor OS is the use of the Calamares installer, which provides a graphical and user-friendly installation process. The Calamares installer simplifies the installation of the base system and allows users to customize various aspects of their installation. Endeavor OS is designed to be minimalistic and doesn't come with a default desktop environment or window manager. Users can choose from a variety of desktop environments and window managers during the installation process, or install their preferred one post-installation. Endeavor OS uses the Pacman Package Manager, which is the same package manager used in Arch Linux. This allows users to easily manage software packages, dependencies, and updates using a simple command line interface. Endeavor OS has an active and supportive community, including forums and a wiki. The community provides assistance, tips, and guides to help users with troubleshooting, customization, and other aspects of using the distribution. Endeavor OS follows a rolling release model, meaning that software updates are continuously pushed to the system, ensuring users have access to the latest features and security updates. Summarize the key points discussed in the video. Emphasize the user-friendly aspects of Endeavor OS, especially the Calamares installer, which makes it accessible to a broader audience than a traditional Arch Linux installation. Remember to showcase the installation process, explore available desktop environments, and provide any insights or tips you discover while using Endeavor OS. Encourage viewers to try it out and explore the Arch Linux ecosystem with a more approachable entry point. Good luck with your YouTube video! So you will come to Google and from there you will search by typing Endeavor OS and then you will enter the first website you find. After entering this website, you will see at the top there is a button called Download click on it. And from there you will get several types of download options. You can download from Torrent also there are different types of download options from where you can download from mirror of your choice take. Once your desired ISO file is downloaded you need to create a bootable drive via a mass storage device to install it, or you can install it via a virtual installation process like mine, in my case I'm using Proxmox Virtual Server. In case of using Proxmox Virtual Server, first you need to upload the ISO file to the Proxmox Server, then you have to create a container or virtual machine as I am showing now. Here you have to give a name to the virtual machine and now you have to locate the downloaded ISO file here. No changes will be required to the skin shown now. Since I'm making a tutorial, I didn't feel the need to take up too much space here. In your case, you can use as much space as you need or as much hard disk space as you have. In my case I have increased the readly memory a bit in your case I would say if the read-only memory is more than the operating system. 
can run much better so far our virtual machine creation is done here now we will boot this virtual machine and see how it runs and start the installation work. So viewers you can see that we have successfully booted our operating system. Now we will move to an installation procedure. In that case we first need to give internet connection to this operating system. You can install without internet connection. But we will prepare our installation today. We will do the installation with internet connection inside. Viewers I use static connection in my router so here I have to set up the connection manually in that case I have to complete the connection through IPv4. So let's see how to set up IPv4 connection inside this operating system. Viewers now you can see we got notification here that we have successfully connected our internet connection. Now we will start our installation work so we will now click on the installation icon and see how to do the installation procedures. From here, if you click on the start installation icon, the installation process will start and if you follow the same steps as I have done, then you can easily install it on your computer. Here you can see that installation can be done in two ways, one you can do online base installation, number two you can do offline base installation, in my case I will do online base installation, so that all types of updates are installed together. If you are installing offline then you will start receiving these updates after installation after your internet connection, in which case your operating system may take some time to be ready. At the beginning of the installation of the operating system you will be asked which is your preferred language. In that case I am giving English as my preferred language. After that you will be asked about your location, and after that you will be asked some questions like keyboard layout where you will identify your language and your location as per your requirement. After that you can see here which type of edition I want to install. In this case I can see many editions available in Linux operating system and from that I can choose which edition I can install here. After that you will be given the option of some add-ons that you can install if you want or you can skip them if you want. Here you can see that it will give you some bootloader options, in this case I am taking the option of grub bootloader. In your case you can choose. After coming to this option you will be asked to choose the partition of your hard disk, in that case I have no choice. Since I am installing on a virtual drive, so I will click on full disk erase here, and in your case if you are installing on a real device, then you if there is a partition in the hard disk, then you will select the partition from here. After coming to this option, you have to provide some information like name and password. Here you click on next option with your required name and password. After coming to this option you only need to click next. After this the files will start copying and in this case it will take some time to copy. In that case it will all depend on your computer configuration. If you have done online installation and a little bit on your online internet speed, in that case you relax and wait until the installation is complete. So far we see that our operating system has been successfully installed so let's now reboot this operating system. So far we have successfully installed it, if you like our video, please support us by subscribing.